Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Sagittarius. This is for you guys. This reading for today, Sag, is in coming love opportunity, connection, and reconnection for you. Alright? This is a special weekly reading session. So for today, I've already um, meditated, pre-picked the card for you, and this is your spread. I'm going to do three readings for today. Uh, the first reading is... An incoming love, opportunity, connection, and reconnection from your past. This is from someone recent, three to six months ago. And this is immediate future or new love, all right? That you have it unknown, unknown yet. It doesn't exist yet. The other two possibly you know already, okay? So who's connecting, reconnecting, or incoming love opportunity for you, Sag? Let's start with um, what is the message in the first three cards in here. So the first three cards, intuitive message I'm getting in here. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, Nine of Swords, Temperance card. It's it, it's it's very soon. I'm, I'm coming home soon. Two of Cups. Um, wait for me. That's what I'm getting in here. Um, this person they've been holding back for what four weeks, four months, four days. Um, they've been thinking about you at night. Um. They check your social media account. They dream of you. You dream of them. It's been nine months, nine weeks, nine days for some of you. But this is a person you know. Um, and you've been connecting with this person for the... It will be different from each one of you. But minimum of nine months to more than nine months. But um, it's a person you met September time for some of you. For some of you. To be specific, um, this is a past person who I'd say you kind of know that you have feelings with each other, okay? For some reason, they hold back, you hold back. I see fire in here in Four of Pentacles, so there's a possibility that you guys argued. If you look at the Four of Pentacles, there's a three and there's some sort of, it looks like an apple from here. Um, and there's another fruit-bearing tree. It's... It, for me, the Four of Pentacles energy, it looks like it's ripe. Like your person is ripe. You know, it's it's willing to invest, but it's holding back. Like it's it's really holding the coin. They have a lot of what I feel is that they have a lot of um they have a lot of communication to say. Like the minute you guys connect, reconnect, they have a lot to say, a lot to share. Because you you haven't you were not in speaking term with this person for quite a while. And I'm seeing 333. Yep, 333. So you haven't been in touch with this person for for some time now. So when you guys start to talk again, they have a lot to share about what happened to their life, to their health, to their career, to their family. So yeah, they're holding back. This person is holding back. Um, it's not doing any any good, you know, knight of swords. <laughs> they know that when you guys don't talk, it, it, it's, it makes them frustrate because they cannot connect with any other people like the way they connect to you. Because look at them. They are keeping these fruits. You know, they have, they have this in their garden. They have a lot of fruits that they have... Um, the fruits in their garden, it's a lot, but they're not sharing it with other people. They want to share this with you, okay? And it's making them frustrated or unable to sleep at night or overthink because they're so keen to catch up and share you the, the harvest, the information, the stuff, the fruitful things that's happening in their life because they can only connect with you. Like the temperance card. If you look at the temperance card, this is patient. This is really... Hoping that you would call, you would text, you would remember them. They're contemplating when will they have their two of cups again. This is you and them. So there's a holding back between the two of you or from them. But I feel like the moment you connect, it's like a whirlwind of... Like a typhoon. It's going to be this. It's a spin-off. Like a fast forward. So watch out. Because I'm really feeling like it's four days, you know, four days, four days, four, four days, four weeks from now. 
four days, four weeks from now, nine weeks for some of you. But I feel like it's very close. Like the next, like around Feb 9, for some of you after Feb 9, like it's going to clash. Like the moment you connect, it's, it's fast forward. Like, okay, we fight. Forget about that. This is what happened to me. What happened to you? Fast forward. Something like that. It's a good energy, but it's rush. Because they're kind of in a hurry to catch up with whatever you miss. And I'm seeing 333 again. Oh my god. It's like 333. And then I'm uploading three videos, 33%. So that's a sign. So yeah, this is someone in the past. Now someone recent. Okay. I felt like there's an overlap. I felt like this is the same person for some of you. Anyhow. Um, just pick up the storyline that with um that would be applicable. So for someone recent, um, it could be it's not dead. All right. I'm really getting like it looks like black but it's just starting okay so you guys disconnected you guys break up disconnected no talking um this is like the shedding of all old, old skin because at the back of the death card it could be a scorpio aries leo sagittarius this could be gemini libra aquarius capricorn taurus or a virgo um for some of you, I feel like there's a third party involved in here. So for some of you, this is this is going to be active in the next eight days. For some of you, eight days, eight weeks from now, this person is going to reach out. This is an incoming love opportunity for you. Two of Wands, they've been planning this for a long time, okay? But they're pretending like they're not. Like this person, do you probably have a communication with them, but they're going to... They're, they're giving you like a standoff-ish energy. They wouldn't be able to stay in this energy. Because the death card, this is very cold. This is acting like it's dead. It's black. It's dark. It's something like unknown. You know, death card is when you die. When you die, you don't know what's in there. It's unknown. So this person is acting aloof. It's it's a person who's acting distance. It's, it's a person who's giving you some sort of unknown um linkage like you you don't get them like you're kind of puzzled with uh, it's dark like you you cannot read their mind something like you can't read their action and everything about them because they're they're intentionally confusing you because two of wands i want to hide my plan so it's like it's, it's, they make you feel like they're gone, but actually they have a lot of plan. So this is a surprise comeback for some of you. That's why I'm seeing eight days from now. Uh, this is a surprise comeback. Someone who you thought it was gone, it was dead, it was unknown, it's never going to come back. It actually have a lot of plan. Like they've been quiet and when they rest back, when they come back, boom, you've got the ace of wands. Because two of wands, I'm planning, I'm hiding here at the back of the death card, pretending I don't exist, pretending like I'm unknown or I'm showing you you are unknown to me, persona non grata. But actually, surprise, I came out, out, of, the, out of the dark in this cloud and the dark, you know, it's like it's dark in the cloud and the ace of wands came. All right, so this is a surprise comeback for some of you. Someone recent, six months, eight months ago connection for some of you. All right, that is really cool. Surprise comeback, and this is this is both serious. All right, I'm gonna leave it with you and how you will deal with this person. Some of you will res resonate here. Some of you will. Some of you, this could be the same person. So take what's resonate with you guys. But I'm really feeling like this is a surprise comeback. Like if the moment you talk to this person, they will kind of be honest with you that I've been planning this for quite a while. I'm just waiting for the right timing. Okay, for someone new, all right, someone new, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Leo, and the lovers, okay. For some of you, this is May, because this two reading in here um it will occupy your feb and march and around if this 
if this doesn't work, you've got a new opportunity in May. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Leo. It could be someone you will meet. Hmm. Someone younger, someone younger than you, like a, th a theater. It's it's a play, it's a theater, it's movie, like a premiere. Because the reverse of the sun is nighttime. I'm going to get more cards. This is interesting. Sagittarius new love. Who is the new love? Who is the next new love? Ten of Wands. The fool. All right, cool. So for some of you, construction, like this person works in a real reality, maybe reality TV. Um, some of you, this is um, camping, flower festival, like movie festival, flower festival. Um, the full card in reverse, like, um, cause the 10 of ones is that I don't want to do it. Like it could be a marathon. So I'm so tired to do it, but you know, you like, you're not keen to go into this. It's, um, it's a place, it's a place, it's a, it's a place and it's an occasion where it's, it's hard work, <laughs> like a marathon. You know, it's like, wow, it's fun, but it makes you tired. So that's the kind of setup. Like, cause you will, you will be the hermit. Like you will, you will, you will eventually use your, like you would think like, I don't like to go there. You know, it's hard, man, but I need to go because it will fill in my spirituality. It will make me intelligent. It would do good to me, even though it's hard work. So yeah, it could be marathon. It could be. I don't know, some sort of exercise and sports and rowing for some of you. Because this this is look like this looks like the beach, you know, but it's something, it's an occasion, it's an event where you're not keen. For some of you, this could be you'd have to what is that event where volunteer? Yes, thank you, spirit. So like you it's related to work you have to volunteer and there's a lot of theme in there different companies so it's it's like a campaign it's a volunteering it's related to sports so you're feeling like i don't want to go there but i have to because it's good for my mental physical or it's it it sounds and it feels like it sounds and it feels like a job rather than fun so that is where you're going to meet your new opportunity. Um, under the sun. It's a person who probably set up the water. Like when you know when you run, this person is the one who gives the water. Or this person is the one who register. And they will get your number. You will know them by, by the name tag and so on and so forth. And they're going to give you some flyers. You can chat with them. And they will say, if you're interested, you know, contact me. And you and your cue is okay so this is your number what is your email blah 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 so that's your cue for some of you guys this is a very good looking person very fit very nice face mm. they have a very good aura like in that crowd they are very like you are a customer and they are they are the customer service that's why i'm looking at the lovers this is you, the very picky customer, and this is them, smiling, waving, being uh, customer service oriented. So you would have this person, okay? It's a it's a very stable connection. Um, it could lead to marriage for some of you, okay? Um, so if you feel like you have an eye with someone around May um, in an event, um where you are the customer and they are the um some sort of organizer um because you are in different team when you chat when you exchange information you give your number 
you specifically tell them, oh, give me an update or sign me up or can I get your number you, so that you could text me the web, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. Bang on. That's the sign. So, yeah, um, I'm not getting a lot of uh, details apart from that. It's it's someone from a customer service. It's It's someone who has a pleasant face, smiling face that you wouldn't miss them in the crowd. Like they are the Asherets for some of you. What else? Like their tour guide, they will guide you. Um, it's really good. This is good. It's around May time, okay? So this is your reading. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you like the reading. I hope it resonates with you. If you feel like you have connected with the reading today, I would appreciate if I get a thumbs up, a subscribe, and also don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you, Sag. Bye-bye.